Hey, welcome to this video where I'm going to show you guys how to actually output audio from your PC to your headphones and to your game capture at the same time and without some stupid workaround like in my other videos. If you guys want to see what I'm talking about, I'll leave an annotation where you guys can see the other videos which ha have really complicated setups and it's really stupid and messy and you need cables and you need to buy extra stuff. Not worth it, guys. And, um... I have done a lot of research into this and I have found what I think is the holy grail of audio software, especially when it comes to trying to record your PC with your Game Capture HD60. So what you want to do is uh, open your web browser and uh, search for voice meter with two E's. You will see up here VB audio voice meter and uh, I'll leave a link in the description and in the annotation. And then you'll be greeted by this site and you want to go all the way to the bottom and uh, I highly recommend that you guys do donate if you use the software. This is freeware, so uh, this is free for you to use. However, you know, these people are nice enough to make the software for you, so I recommend that you do donate $10, $15, Euro, whatever you guys have. And uh, so you want to come over to Install Voice Meter. You want to click Download. You'll download it, and then go to your Downloads folder, open the Voice Meter uh, EXE, and install it. It'll ask you to install audio devices. You want to install those. All right, once you've installed the software, you want to open wherever your sound settings are. And for me, I just have to search sound in my uh, search bar. And uh, then you should see the voice meter input. Now, I'm using the headset, or I'm using an Astro MixAmp Pro headset, or, well, A40 is connect connected to a MixAmp. And uh, usually, it'll be set to default like that. What you want to do is click on voice meter input and set that to default. And you're done in there. Now what you want to do is find where you install your voice meter software. I have it right here. Just click on that and you'll be greeted by the screen right here. Hardware input one, you don't want to choose anything. This is for mics. And then hardware input two, you can choose another mic if you want to mix that all together. And see this virtual input here? This is actually where all your audio is going. And you can see you can mess with a lot of the uh, settings here, your bass, your middles, your highs, um, where, you know, front, left, right, rear, um, and like where it's faded to, and uh, some other settings. The important part comes where it says hardware out. Uh, you've got A1 and A2. What you want to do, A1 will probably already be set to some sort of audio uh, output device. For me, it's already set to my uh, Astro Mixamp, so that's fine. Click on the Astro Mixamp or click on whatever headphones you guys are using. And it can be any headphones or any audio device. So it can be, this is a USB device. You've got the Elgato, which is HDMI. You've got Realtek High Definition, which for me is my um, 3.5 millimeter analog output. You can also, I have XSplit installed, so you could X output it to XSplit. And uh, you want to use the WDM uh, version of this. MME, that's a legacy thing. That's if it may not be working or something like that. So just click on uh, whichever output is your headphones and uh, then go to A2 and then you want to select your Elgato. Now for me it says one dash Elgato and then in parentheses AMD high definition audio device. For you if you're using an a, uh, say a um, NVIDIA graphics card it might say something else. If you've got an Intel graphics card even um, then it might say something else again but it should say Elgato somewhere in the uh, in the audio settings. So just click on that and there we go. So now you're outputting your system audio to your headset and your Game Capture HD. And now to show you guys that that's actually working, I currently have my Game Capture HD 60. Well, I have my computer plugged into my Game Capture HD 60. That's why you guys are seeing this uh, inception here. Look at that. That looks really weird. And uh, to show you guys that this actually works, you'll see here I have the audio bar. And uh, if you click on the mixer at the bottom and you click on the audio level in the mixer, you'll hear a little pinging. And then you'll see that the um, audio bar in the software is moving and I can hear it in my headset. So that's pretty cool. What I'm gonna do now to show you guys that there is uh, no delay caused by the software is, uh, let's see, I have a couple games here. I wanna open one that'll really show you guys that there's no, um, no delay. Let's open Minecraft. I'm gonna make a, a new profile in Minecraft. I'm gonna call it Audio test. Audio test. I know it's complaining and stuff. Keep the launcher open. Use release 1.7.10. Do all that. All right, should be good. 
And then we want to go to audio test and play that. Yay! So I'm just going to go into single player world, derp. I don't know why there's already a world created, but okay. Make that full screen. Now check it out. So I'm recording at 1080p60 right now from my computer. My computer, there's no frame rate loss, no nothing. But check it out. When I hit the block of dirt, there's no audio delay. Do you hear that? Nothing. You won't notice anything. You can play shooter games, you can play Battlefield, you can play Crisis, you can play Insurgency, um, Counter-Strike, whatever you guys want to play. And uh, there you guys can hear the, uh, the music going, actually. And uh, there will be no audio delay. And uh, since I'm using Flashback, if I wanted to, I can go back and uh, just click on that. Now I stopped recording. Go over into my recordings. And then I can go back in. There you guys can see that there is no audio delay whatsoever. And it is a smooth 60 FPS. Although YouTube is 30 FPS, so you won't notice it. But yeah. It's as simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys have found this tutorial, which is rather short, uh, interesting, and helpful. If you guys do have any questions, comments, or uh, any other issues, please let me know in the comments below. I will do my best to answer all of them and help you guys out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.